Hi, this is Tony Teolis of todolisthome.com. I want to give an update on what the tomato trellises look like and how I employ them around the yard here for tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, and other plants. The raspberries and the blackberries are also supported by trellises. I want to show you just how useful they've been and how tall the tomatoes have gotten. In a previous episode, I wrote about and I spoke about using tomato trellises to grow the largest tomatoes in your neighborhood. I'm going to link to that in today's episode. This is just a quick update to show you why to do it and how easy it is to do it and the results. So if you have a look here behind me, I've got the main Hugel culture bed. This bed is three and a half feet tall, five feet wide, and ten feet long. I've got two tomato plants, just two right here, that are really big here. These are uh, going up to uh, almost to five feet, eleven inches right there, almost six feet tall there, and they're quite wide. This tomato plant here alone is about three feet wide, and some of the tomatoes coming off of it are like this. I'm going to put some links into uh, the notes for today about how to do these trellises. You see more tomatoes back there and more tomatoes here. This is another plant again on its way to six feet tall. This bed is three and a half feet high, ten feet long, and you can see everything that I've got crammed in here. I'll back up for a closer view. Really can't underestimate the benefit of building beds hugel culture style. And when you build with a trellis, you're able to weave the plants in and out of the squares here. Now on the back side of this hugel bed, I've got five more tomatoes coming up and they're coming up through the uh, through the netting in the uh, in the trellis here and these will be producing, uh, these are phase two and phase three of my tomatoes. Over here, now you can see, this is a classic Tony Teolis uh, trellis here. This trellis is uh, just about five feet tall, and so that makes these plants here, these tomato plants, about seven feet tall right now. And there's three in here with another one um, I just put in yesterday. And we can see here we got some German dark. These are uh, an heirloom tomato. These are a German dark variety of tomato. They're like a brown tomato. They're just wonderful. And a trellis goes ahead and supports the sunflower here as well. And just all of these, what will turn out to be probably a few hundred tomatoes on this one plant alone. And so this trellis system is, again, uh, five feet high by uh, at least, uh, what, eight feet long here? And you can see I've got a kind of toothed in here. I've got two front pieces and then a middle piece here that supports it from leaning back too far. And again, the plants weave in and out of the netting of the trellis very nice. And I'll have a link in the show notes to the equipment uh, necessary to uh, put these together. Very inexpensive and very easy to maintain as you can tell I've been picking runners on these tomatoes ever since I've planted them and they just keep growing and growing and producing more and more tomatoes and as a bonus I want to show you something that I'm doing for my squash plants last year I had to fight the evil squash vine borer I got a little squash growing in there right now I don't want anything to happen to it I've already picked one squash out of this plant so I wrap the stem here. You see the stem sticks out from the ground a good five to six inches. And so I want to wrap the stem in aluminum foil to prevent the squash bug from leaving its uh, eggs on the stem, which is typically where the larvae will bore into the plant and eat it from the inside out. And I do that with all my squash plants here. I'm coming over to this other raised bed here this other hugel culture bed we see we have some more tomatoes here this one is not grown with the trellis and you can see it's rather difficult to keep supported with a couple of sticks but it's producing well but over here we have another this uh, trellis here is a six feet high and uh, at least eight feet long again and you can see what it's supporting here it's supporting this nice big tall 
sunflower and that sunflower is reaching about eight feet right now I got a tomato plant a cherry tomato on the end there it's doing well that's uh, reaching past the uh, six foot mark right there there's another one next to it and then I've got two other tomato plants in here these are spice tomatoes um, they're not growing as well you see a lot of brown leaves in here so I've been putting a lot of fish emulsion in here to keep them healthy but you see they're producing just fine tomatoes the tomatoes that are coming out here it's hard to keep up with them we're having to make and jar tomato sauce um, almost every day this week and today is 4th of July Independence Day happy birthday America and I want to point out we also have a uh, nice cucumber plant growing up in here I just picked two nice big cucumbers off of it yesterday and you can see the yellow flowers right in there and this is where new cucumbers will be forming and the last trellis I want to point out today to really demonstrate the benefit of having trellises to raise your tomatoes and other plants is this one here which is supporting this mammoth sunflower here this is uh, actually called a mammoth black sunflower it's a uh, huge it's got multiple heads it's an awesome color it's got that dark orange surrounding a black field of sunflower seeds and right now there's about uh, six heads on there and the bees are floating up and around there and other pollinators come and go but this bed here is a hugel culture bed there's a couple of big huge logs buried in here and covered with dirt supporting this tomato plant this is a cherry tomato plant and you just see how crazy this is just one plant here okay and just show you the stem system is just one there's three main stems coming off that have really branched out and overtaken and having a trellis here to hold everything together uh, has been great and what is required is this second trellis being put into place and the second trellis is about seven feet tall right there and you can see how wild this tomato plant is going I've been pruning it pulling the runners but it's still so going as you strong. can see we have this two trellis system here and the second trellis here is really supporting the upper growth of this tomato plant going to be a lot of cherry tomatoes coming out of here and it also supports another cucumber plant coming in here and I harvested one cucumber off of this yesterday and we'll be waiting for more now again uh, because of the hugel culture method that I'm using a lot of the nutrients here are kind of held within the wood and a lot of the nitrogen that can be found in the soil uh, gets sucked into the wood that's buried so I've been supplementing it a little bit when I see the leaves turning brown I'll, uh, give, I'll use that as an indication that, that maybe there's some deficiency in the soil nutrients and so I've been putting some fish emulsion in here and that seemed to help uh, really maintain the growth and color of these plants here and we can just go ahead and pick a tomato see right what there. this one tastes like. They've been delicious so far. Mmm. They're so juicy so to and get wonderful. the most out of your tomato plants this year, your cucumbers, and then the other vining or tall growing plants like sunflower, consider trellising before it's too late and you limit the growth of what could really be a truly, truly productive season. This is Tony Teolis of todolisthome.com. See you again next time.